Sorry about that. But we are alive again. Testing, testing. Boom, if you are still there, you might have to click first again, but I will still honor it, of course. There you go. And you might have to do your check-in again. I forgot that I had restarted my computer. <laughs> Savannah's going to be so mad. Yeah, I had to restart my computer and it, of course, does not load up Mix It Up bot. Hi, everyone. I know she did. She could have stolen it, but she was lurking dinner. As always. Hi, Fudge. Wow, I can't believe I went live and I immediately lost a follower. Would you look at that? You keep forgetting to launch Mix It Up, so it's fitting that the one time you get first Mix It Up wasn't open. I mean, I was going to put you on the overlay no matter what, unless somebody wants to spend 25k channel points to steal. <laughs> it was you, you unfollowed. It was just too much. I know, two live notifications back to back. <gasps> too much. Hi, I'm here. I'm a puppet. And where, oh where, is Minecraft? I don't see it. It's gone. Oh, I, I figured as much. Um, this one. This one? Minecraft? There it is! Today has been a very capitalist kind of day, so I would like to just play some Minecraft. Thank you so much for the lurk, soy milk. No capitalism here. None whatsoever. I will do a little tour. Also, you may not have seen this yet, Dennis. Maybe you did when you were working on the surprise. Oh, I do love the beacons though. It's very nice. We have been busy here at the parade site. Ever so busy. I believe at this point, all of our featured streamers have decorated their floats. They might not all be completed, but I believe everyone has had a shot. Oh, I misspoke. Catrium is the only one who has not been able to decorate her float, and I am so mad on her behalf. She bought Minecraft for this collab because she said, I'm probably going to like this game, I'm just gonna buy it outright. And there's been Mojang 
connection issues. So even though she paid full price for the game, it will not let her log on to any servers. Oh yes, this was done by Love Litchi during her Pridecraft stream. We have lots of lovely pixel arts here. We're just having a good time, really. I need to check to see that our Hall of Fame is up to date because I know I got a couple off stream donations and I've just been so distractible lately that I could have easily missed someone. Looks like I did miss Soul Commodore. <laughs> you love Sanrio. Valid. Um, I think my favorite Sanrio show right now is probably Agretsuko. No, I don't think it's up to date. I'm going to have to tweet this at Soul. But I made the shrine of Sol Ka Mador. And there's going to be a parkour inside. And he got a bonus because I just felt really generous. I made him a guardian too. It's just hiding here in the trees. I don't know how to make it uh, like I was hoping I could make it, like, beep if you get too close to it. I might be able to with command blocks, but I'm not that smart. It is hard not to love Soul. His internet crashed after a raid, and then he came back hours later. Uh, to donate. <laughs> Did you see the parkour on your raft? I remembered you saying you were making one. Let's try this. Oops, that is shift and not control. Parkour. Okay, I missed that jump. <laughs> Every jump is possible. You haven't done it all in one go. Oops. The drip leaves are tricky because they pop. Oops. See, I'm going too fast because I'm anticipating it dropping too soon. I think I have more time. Ah, almost. There we go. I am presuming it's onto the fence now. That's a tricky one with the uh, ceiling there. Ah, I bonked on something, but I don't know what. I see. I'm very not good at challenges where I can bonk my head. What are you yelling at me for? Of course there's insufficient disk space. Always. It's because my subathon video, um, is still there and it's like 45 gigs <sighs> I can't do that without bonking my head 
That is the jump, right? Oh. You have to come at it from an angle. Well, see, that's where it's difficult. I keep overshooting that. Bonk. You should have tested all these jumps. My problem is that I continually bonk my head on something, so the jump would not be nearly as bad if I were not bonking my head. But like, like if you got rid of this block and just put a slab. Oh, I'm, I don't doubt that it's possible, but it is way more difficult this way. I mean, I am doing the parkour pyramid, so I am getting good at Minecraft parkour. Bonk. It's, to me, it's more frustrating when I overshoot the jump than when I bonk. You're allowed to be a troll, L. I still appreciate having you here. Bonk. Oops, that was just, I like sprinted at the wrong time and the momentum got really weird. You didn't want to compromise the original sculpture. The bonk is supposed to be the thumb of the hand. Okay. Ow. I think it might have to be a corner jump. But then you overshoot. So what is it? Maybe not, maybe not sprinting. Not sprinting. That one, I'm really not sure about. Bonk. You come at it from the center of the fence. Okay. If I get back there, I can certainly try. This feels like the center. Unless you mean the center here, not the center of that block. What? Excuse me. I disagree. Oh, got stuck. The center. Okay, I see. And then I'm assuming to here, and I overshot it as I do. That time I just didn't get the sprint. I didn't get the zoomies. Ow. I should probably eat to uh, heal. Also, hi, boom. Bonk. I'm gonna get some food real quick. These drowned are loud.
Bonk. And you know what this... Yes, the queer note. That was me reserving space for something. Oh yes, I've been to this slab twice. I've missed this jump twice. I overshoot it. Oops. Tried and drowned, can you not? Now is not the time. He's, go he's gonna make my parkour experience very hard. Um, diamond guards. Diamond guards, lend me your strength. Too much gas on the jumpy jump. Unfortunately, there's only go and stop on the uh, sprint. It, why is there a pillager? Suddenly, mobs are the reason I'm not going to be able to do this parkour. <laughs> because they want me dead. Arr! There we go. I was able to dial it back. Did not make that jump, though. I think that's where you go next. See, I dial it back and then I like kick off of the fence for some silly reason. Drowned? Had about enough of you. Oh! Yeah, sometimes the sprint does not work. Bonk. I hope you're having fun watching this, the queer note. So, boom, from here, do I need like a really long running start? Because I was nowhere close to that last time, I don't think. I don't see anywhere else to go. I'm glad you're having fun watching this. Like, that slab is the next target, correct? Well... Got it. This jump is mean. This next one. Ah! Beans! I'm gonna presume that's it, though. Once you're up on the top. I'm gonna call that good. Do you know why it's raining in my game but not in yours? I do not. I just set the weather to clear, though. Boop. Well, mission accomplished, then. There's one jump. There is one jump to get to the other top. Ah, I hate that I can't Put, pump the brakes quickly enough. Ow. Stop bonking your head. That's gotta hurt. The end is on the left hand facing outward from the throne. Beans. Well, 
Well, someone on Twitch.tv is enjoying watching this. That's all that matters. Ah. I hate missing that jump of most of all. Dang, I like tripped off of the uh, corner block there. It's interesting, like, the controls are not always guaranteed, it feels, and I feel like the momentum is impacting my parkour abilities more than I thought it would be. Ah. Those button noises, what, my keyboard? Hey, yeah, unfortunately, I... Do not know how to set a microphone filter so that you do not hear my keyboard noises when I am doing parkour. Ow. I would say the space bar is probably the loudest of them. I didn't even hit the jump that time. Disappointing. I know I can do it. I just wanted to do it all in one go, which is proving trickier than anticipated. Bonk. Bonk. You also want to do it. You're just helping a student. Oh, that's fine. Stop bonking your dang head. We're starting to get the red ray assault hours. Say, if I can't get this soon, I'll take a break. I had enough salt at work today. <laughs> I know, right? I came to Minecraft to enjoy myself and immediately Boomerang says, did you try my parkour yet? Thanks, Boom. I do enjoy parkour. I don't enjoy smacking my head on the ceiling. I'm a short person. I'm not used to this. That is the thing that frustrates me the most when I make the jump and somehow bounce off of the fence. That time I just overshot. I'm getting really good at like the pretty much all of it. There's just parts that I keep bouncing off of with more momentum than anticipated. All right.
So there's supposed to be one more jump, though I don't know that I see it. That feels quite as far as this does. Is that the jump? Or is this the end? That lower slab there on the left or the lower block there on the right? Please don't fall. On the left. All right, the queer note. Oh, nope. Let's try that again. Nope. That one must be a really tough jump. All right, it can be done. No, it's, it's, it's just a very difficult jump. It's a doable jump. But I would say that as a whole, this is quite the tricky parkour challenge. I think that's the same thing that I did though at Peach's Castle, is each jump by itself is doable. But when you try to run the whole thing, it becomes very difficult very quickly. We're going to hit some shout outs. because I'm joined with some lovely streamers tonight and my model is blocking the clip. Wham. You are okay with it being hard. That's fine. This always happens when you design levels. A jump you think is fine is actually a touch too hard. Well, I mean, I did that with my parkours as well. They ended up being a bit too hard. Like, it can be fine to run it by itself, but when you're doing the entire thing in one go. It's a lot. Okay, Puppet is back where it belongs. So I definitely want my Breath of the Wild Shrine parkour to be easier than that. And easier than what I did um, in the Mushroom Kingdom. So yeah, the queer note thought I was going to, uh, teleport people into the, uh, shrine. I went with a bubble elevator because in Breath of the Wild, there are, like, elevators that take you down. Oh, you're fine, Boom. I knew that I could just, n like, walk away if needed. Wheel. There was a cave here. You discovered a whole ravine with a mine shaft while laying redstone for the fireworks. That's pretty great. Ah. 
By the way, I am still planning a Mareep for you. Sleepy, sleepy time. That's what I was wondering if Boom might be busy. I can make it morning. Oh, you're good. I have admin powers. Wow, that's wild. weird because weather is not supposed to be instanced. It should be server-wide. They're soul lanterns, just for soul. Hehe. <laughs> rain. I'm going to presume it was. It was quite loud. If it helps, it was just thundering. Yes, I cleared it. For lurking, L. But it's weird because I definitely cleared it before, too. Two small floats are unoccupied? Yes, that's correct. They can be claimed. We had a lot of people very new to Minecraft uh, joining us for the collab.
So I might not need this area cleared out, actually. Not certain yet. go. We're making this little room. That's one of the things I really liked about the parkour pyramid was that for the most part a lot of the jumps felt really good difficulty wise not too much not too easy some of them needed a flow but it also had a lot of um built in protections from jumping over the edge or some checkpoints, even. Don't get me wrong, there were some levels that one particular jump made me retry the level at least a good 10 or 15 times. is the audio, by the way. Oops. Excellent. It sounds all good. Have I tried clearing space with commands? No, I'm aware you can. I don't know the commands. My good buddy Fire Shadow would know. He was able to do a little bit of it before. Because, yes, I don't necessarily want to just hollow out a huge space by hand, but I want enough space to work with.
I have tried using TNT for excavation purposes. It works. You've used that before too. It is hard to control. And with stone, I feel, I feel like TNT is not all that useful in a stone environment, but as soon as you get close to dirt or anything like that, it breaks everything. Yeah, on a server where you can't reload if there's an oopsie, it's a bit too risky. I understand. If anybody wants some uh, very tedious manual labor, hit me up. I'm your plant. No thoughts, head empty. Oh, goodbye, Boom. It was nice knowing you. Taken from us far too soon. You were alt tabbed. The zombie cares not. The zombie cares not. Wee. My mom said she would probably be on in like an hour. She loves digging stuff out. See, Boom says she adjusted the uh, last jump. I think I failed the last jump in its original form three times and succeeded once, but it did take me quite a bit of finagling to continue to get back to said jump. Oops. Trying to make sure I'm getting a good amount of water tonight. I do have a glass. Even if you can't see the hydrate, it's there. I think I want this to be almost 
getting over it style. Not like intentionally frustrating or easy to fall jumps that make you start over, but rather having lower areas that you can catch yourself on and recover. Not too hard. Sounds like rain. Oh. Boom, are you okay? Do you need a bodyguard? I shall sleep in a bed. Boom is getting bullied. This music is filling me with life. So we are making this shrine for Sol Commodore because he donated to the Trevor Project. We still have the donation link active, and it will continue to be active until the finale on July 1st. works for me. I kind of wanted it to climb out at the end. So that means we can't go quite as high over here. We need to taper it. Which giggling?
Let me out. There we go. Too excited there. Oh, yeah. destroyed a drip leaf trying to kill a drown so you have to fix it to try the parkour. Minecraft music is always just so chill. I'm glad I'm just holding the mouse down because I feel like otherwise you would hear a lot of clicking. Easy. Um, I feel like this is enough space. 
this is what I'm planning on working with. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm just breaking this out by one, and then I'm gonna inlay the uh, black stone wall. So this can get filled in. Uh, you can speckle in some of the gilded if you are so inclined. I love that I hear drown from down here. How goes the parkour boom?
He replaced the drip leaf. I could understand that. Ooh, having a conversation about a D&D &D character with your DM. We're actually at a point where uh, Fudge is going to take over a campaign from me. Just because with, between work and streaming and getting back into art, I have not really put any time into D&D &D stuff. decided that home brewing for my very first campaign ever that I was DMing was maybe not the right call. Maybe a bit ambitious. did Breath of the Wild D&D &D, your first big campaign. It required a lot of homebrew. It had an established world, which was nice. Yes. That does help. That certainly helps. some lighting. I am loving this collab. I'm okay with it not being super bright. Hello, Enderman. Do you want to play parkour with us? No? Aw, you have such long legs. I feel like you'd be great at jumping. Oh, he did not like that. He did not like that one bit. He didn't like it. He yelled at me. Stop yelling at me! He's just throwing a tantrum in the corner. I think the floor in here can be just plain stone. Shouldn't this wall be one further out? No, I wanted it that way. I wanted it weird. Accent wall.
I guess it's time maybe to start actually making parkour. It might be time. The moment we've all been waiting for. I don't know what the skulk blocks do, and at this point, I'm too afraid to find out. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum, 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 bum. You did it! Congratulations! You solved your own jumping puzzle! Sure! Yeah, the queer note, you can go ahead and fill those, fill the rest of the wall in that way. You did it all in one go, which you hadn't before. Yep, go right ahead. Enderman, you need to calm down. Go have a nice pop. Go get a freezy pop, my guy. the queer note um no never mind you're good I had a thought about making one of these walls water I'll do it with the inlaid wall and then I will put ice blocks to parkour kind of like you're using cryonis Oh no! I have made an error. Hold up. You guys are fine. I just made an error. I flew too close to the sun. I'm flying. Cannot test my parkour if I'm flying. So I will, for the time being, destroy all of this water and spawn it back in later so that I can place my ice blocks without ruining everything.
Yo, the lamp has become part of the parkour. Your instinct would be to use redstone and pistons to push the ice out. You are speaking to someone with zero redstone experience. I think if that's an easy thing to do, that could be kind of cool to add a timed element to it. And also, it could be turned off for an easy mode. But hey, I'm considering this shrine to be a collab, so I'm down for it if you are. The Queer Note is very good at Redstone. If you haven't seen uh, on my YouTube channel, they made an adventure map that I played. Just tell me where. Um, for the time being, I think these are our only three ice blocks. Because once you get here, you're going to start going over to this wall. So yes, I think these are the only ones. Actually, I want this to be deep slate. I kind of want to keep the illusion. Wouldn't the water flow over the ice? It might on the sides. I can test real quick. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that, the water to swim up. Because that's not what I'm looking for. I mean, we'll just call it an illusion. And if I needed to, I could put blue concrete there to say, oh, look, it's water. Oops. Water behind a glass wall. That's doable. So we can break the wall that we have here to put uh, water in where the wall is and then glass outside of it but i can i'll start with the glass though because i can i can do that Trying to find the ceiling? Sure. I would like to put some sort of light source in the ceiling. I have not decided exactly how. And it can be a little different than the walls. Um, maybe use deep slate. And yeah, we, do, we are almost out of room. So if you can't break the dirt without it becoming visible, just start placing blocks like here for the ceiling. I have trapped them. I can't believe they live in the wall now. Nope, you're gonna bonk. 
so you almost have to go here. I don't know. You can make that pretty easily. And I suppose you could skip a little bit if you were able to get to that ice block and just turn around. Oh. The light. It burns. It burns us. The hill might protect most of what we're doing, which would be good. Hi, Judge Solbane. Welcome in. I'm a puppet tonight. Ooh, still never oh, went. Yeah. Oh yeah. We are building a Minecraft Breath of the Wild shrine and it's a parkour challenge because that seemed like the best option. So far so good. Yeah. We've flooded. Looking good. I don't think that jump is doable. Well, if you're flying, it is. I don't want them to be able to turn around and cheat. And this might end up being ever so slightly taller.
Is this still makeable? Well, you have to jump to find out. It is. That might be the goal then. Doing a little jumping. And we might, for the heck of it, go back and do another round of ice. Maybe once you're up here. I keep forgetting that I ha I am flying. jump is definitely makeable. I'm just a goober. I don't want to mess up any of my previous jumps though and I think this one this one probably does. Yeah because now I'm bonking. Have I played Moonlighter? I have heard of it and I own it on Switch. Maybe now we'll do some like ladder sections. To imitate like Breath of the Wild climbing mechanics. Yeah, my friend actually gave me his copy of Moonlighter. And this was after I had been following it a little bit myself. It seems like a game I would really like. I just have not put much time into checking it out yet. I know you can't climb inside shrines. My immersion. I don't really have a safe way of implementing uh, TNT to give Link bombs. And I can't think of anything to imitate Magnesis. I'm not good at redstone, so I can't just like put a little uh, redstone puzzle section together with ease. Oops, didn't, didn't get my jump. Dang it. Okay, that may have been made impossible now. Let's find out. Is that worse? Why do you ask about Moonlighter? Oh, I made that before. There we go. I forget you can stand on top of ladders, kind of. I didn't think you could. Oh, it was on sale, so you bought it. Very nice. Let me know how you like it. 
again, it seems like a game I would enjoy thoroughly. I have been super into roguelikes, even though it's not really a game I stream. But like, Undermine is one that I really enjoy watching. I liked Nobody Saved the World. It's not quite roguelike. And I think we're gonna try to get Link slash our hero over to here, perhaps. You've never played anything like that, almost Mystery Dungeon-like. Yeah, Mystery Dungeon is kind of rogue-like. I didn't think about that. We'll get rid of... Yeah, did they add the ability to stand at the top of a ladder? Or is that just a creative mode thing? Bonk. <laughs> Yep, you keep going. You're doing perfect. I know I have not really given much uh, direction. <laughs> I got distracted with uh, shiny things. Oh, it's been like that. Okay. Maybe it's vines I'm thinking of that, of course, you can't really get to the top of a vine. I wonder if I put lichen down, if it would prevent you. Like, if I put something else on the wall... It would probably prevent you from being able to climb, I would think. I could be wrong. Nope. Well, that's fine. I'm sure I could, f like, I could physically block it, but I don't want to. See here, this is actually perfect, but I might have to replace it with some uh, stairs. It's too perfect. Nope. Bonk. That one's gonna be a frustrating one. I'll decide later if it's too frustrating. I did just pull it off so it's doable. I had an idea of I my original plan was to make a reverse bubble elevator going back up to exit the shrine. Now, I think it's going to <gasps> Welcome in, Linksy. Welcome, Raiders. Love the raid message. Thank you, Shay. Welcome in, everyone. You caught us in the middle of a little low energy stream. I'm doing some Minecraft. Oh, pardon me. I'm blocking the clip. Thank you for the stream check in. Was that an Elden Ring clip, Linksy? Yeah, Mo, I ended up restarting stream because I didn't have Mix It Up bought up. Thank you for the host. Oops. Um, There I am. Welcome in. 
If you don't know me, my name is Redria. I go by they or she pronouns. We are playing Minecraft to raise money for the Trevor Project and to fulfill some of our previous donation incentives, mainly um, like Minecraft Hall of Fame and pixel art, etc. And it is a very low energy stream. I will play the video and I will do spoken word poetry. How's that sound? Pardon me? Enjoy the video. Keep going and growing. A raid is showing. Raiders, welcome in. How is stream? What did you play? Thanks for dropping by. I understand if you can't stay. My name is Redria, and I'm a part-time streamer, full-time scientist, full-time dreamer. Hope you're having an awesome time today. I'll lead the way. I play platformers, sandbox games, farming sims, Come watch all three. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Like what you see? There's no need to wallow. Find me again. Click that follow. Please refresh your streams, and then you're free. Pronouns, they, she. Welcome, Linksy Raiders. I can't make the piranha plant snap. I hope you understand. <laughs> You're imagining me as the character from Extremely Goofy Movie right now. Oh, you were hoping the Twitch TV EE -E -E was gonna end in up in the spoken word poetry EE. -E. There. It didn't end up there originally, but you got it. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, Linksy. I am feeling better, but today was just kind of a rough day, so I wanted to take it easy, become Puppet, and play some Minecraft. So let me show you how much beauty is in this world. Because there's a lot of beauty here at Pridecraft 2022. We have all of our featured streamers with their own floats, with the exception of Catrium, because Bill Gates is being real homophobic. She bought the game outright for this collab, and for some reason, it keeps telling her, you don't own this game. Would you like to play the demo version? And so she couldn't join the server which is incredibly frustrating. Thank you, Shay. I appreciate it. Just a really crummy day at work. But yes, as you can see, we have a lot of pixel art that we have made for our wonderful donors. The kind family, friends, and folks who donated to the Trevor Project to support Pridecraft 2022. We did hit our overall goal, which was $622. We actually are at like $725 right now. And we are still going until July 1st, so you are more than welcome to drop a donation. if you feel so inclined. I do need to add some lovely people. Oops. Yes, we have a lot of pixel art. Love Litchi popped on and this was her parade float. I absolutely am in love with it. And she finished the float and said, I wanna keep building. So she did some pixel art. Doesn't it look amazing? 
Elle really appreciated the Sanrio. I forget who the Vulpix was for. We have a, I call this Pokemon Deden. I've heard it pronounced uh, Dedene, but it's the rodent Pokemon from, what is it, Gen, is it from X and Y? I'm so bad at remembering. I thought it was X and Y. Vulpix was for Sekhmet. Ooh, okay. It's a very cute Vulpix. I hope you don't mind that I finished coloring it in. I was antsy for things to do. This is the uh, shrine of Sol Ka Mador. And yes, this was made entirely for Sol Ka Mador. He raided into the event and then dropped a donation. So we're building a Breath of the Wild shrine in Minecraft. We are making it parkour because that's kind of the best way to add in some of the uh, <laughs> I keep missing the jump. I don't have the exit built yet, I'm sorry. Am I bonking my head? Is that what's happening? No, okay, I can make that jump. Oh, the ice! You saw nothing. Everything is so amazing. I am also going to be building a little clubhouse inside of Deden for Data Mouse. So yes, parkour. Dang it, that's the second time I've missed that jump. I've missed it 50% of the time. <laughs> I bounced off of it that time. Parkour is not an exact science. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. The emotion is... That, that's the emotion. We've had so many wonderful streamers join us for our second charity project, and I am loving it. It's been such an amazing collaborative effort. Maybe I need to make this jump just a touch easier. Ooh. Well, that was what is supposed to happen, actually, if you're not careful. But yes, thank you so much for the raid, Linksy. If you have to lurk, if you have to head out, I understand completely. I'm glad you all enjoyed the spoken word poetry version of the raid song. It is what I do for low energy streams, such as the one I am experiencing tonight. Ooh, spaghetti! Thank you for lurking, Shrek. I appreciate it more than you can possibly know. And thank you for the host, Shay. Can I parkour off of crystal? Uh, not if I bonk my head. Oops. How about that? Is that makeable? It's definitely going to be a toughie. If it's even makeable, it might not be. I don't even remember if I changed that block or if I just broke it and rebuilt it. I think I just broke it and rebuilt it. There you go. Okay, that is makeable. Now, can I stand on this? I can.
Oh, this is fun. Hi, Chibi. Thank you so much for the host. I think this is going to be hollowed out just a little bit and that might be the end and I was going to maybe build a tower. I don't know how I'm going to build a Breath of the Wild, like a very small scale tower, but I want the bubble elevator to shoot you up the tower and then you get an elytra at the top so that you can sail cloth down. This is becoming very intricate very quickly I want to like really hit on all of the breath of the wild uh aspects and I'm having so much fun with this oops Grandpa. I believe Island Grandpa is also live. And everyone, it's Island Grandpa's birthday! So everyone had best say happy birthday. I'm gonna go tab up right now. I am so happy to see so many of you hanging out tonight. I believe we also have a Lady of Chaos J live with more pride craft. We just really kind of all wanted to uh, keep playing more Minecraft, you know? It's been too much fun. Anyway, sorry for the pause screen. I love how this sounds. Thank you, Boom. You should probably build your house at some point, huh? Um, probably. It was an optional thing. The main thing I wanted everyone to do was build their parade float. I would love to have everyone do some retirement homes as well. It is our whole shtick after all. You can just live on your throne. Nothing's stopping you.
It would be really cool if there were updrafts. I sure hope no one released Bathonsu. No one would do that, right? Right? You. I am getting better at remembering to be expressive. Okay, definitely can't leave this here. Sorry. I want a lamp, but it can't be there. It can be higher. If there's no more help I need, I might comb through the VOD and make sure you're keeping track of rewards. That's fair. Um, as far as immediate help goes, nothing comes to mind. This is looking rather cool, and I just need to wrap up the ending of it. And then, like I said, I'm gonna make a really small scale Breath of the Wild tower kind of behind the shrine that you'll pop up in yeah we definitely want to make sure that we are not missing any statue requests i do know that i have to make a mega mind for chibi s'mores or as i have heard them called recently smeeby chores is that right everyone's favorite twitch streamer smeeby chores And this is, uh, this is as high as I can go in this area because I hit the edge. Yes, and your Mareep, we have a list in our Discord. Uh, the Mareep, I was going to try to attempt in three dimensions, if I can. I don't know. It, you can stop vines from growing past a certain point with shears, correct? I think that's right. Can you not grow vines? I, f I forget how vines work. I'm trying to make sure that this parkour is challenging, but not too challenging. We're trying to find a really good uh, balance. And then, yes. What do I need to make you grow? What do I need to make you grow?
Vines on the sides? Um... I'm not sure I know what you mean. I kind of wanted this one to, uh, it grows automatically. See, I thought maybe I could bone meal it. But I can't. And I'm impatient. Ooh, an idea I just had. You want it to grow place a block behind it and then break the block i did that before and it took the vines with it when i broke the block that time it didn't which is good now maybe i need one more There we go. Oh, it's a little finicky, but I like it. And then from here, you get a nice, beautiful view of the rest of the shrine. Can you imagine if I put a jump scare mob here or something? Up here, actually, it should be blue because the shrine is completed. I'm glad that worked though because that means we're just about done the vines will grow all the way to the ground I thought you could shear them like I thought if you sheared them with a clipper it would not grow anymore Hi, Shay. But unfortunately, I need them to be a bit longer. Oh yeah, I could just put a string or something. Hi, Mom. I can hop on voice chat if you want to join me. I'm just a puppet today. What do you think, Shay? Are you gonna start trying the parkour? It looks like you might already be trying it. Perfect. I guess that means though that the tower's gonna go up right in front of Dusknor, but that's okay. Looking around in the server to see what you would want to make in a new world. Gotcha. Yes, we have a ton of pixel art here. We've got all of our parade floats. Parkour is tough. I will give you that. 
Um, I'm gonna have to look up the Breath of the Wild towers. See, though, I don't want mine to be that big. Some people have made them absolutely ginormous. And I mean, to be fair, I guess they are very large. Ooh, oh, I like that. Somebody did a simplified one with scaffolding and some copper. I like that a lot. Don't mind if I do. I should definitely try to do my own challenge then. Make sure I didn't make it too tough. I want you to be a fairly good height when you come out. This looks good. So this parkour attempt, or me making this parkour map, was me attempting to make it slightly easier. There are still places, of course, where you can fall down and lose progress. The cat in here is just judging you. I don't know where that cat came from. <laughs> it just spawned in there with me and it already said, you're my owner, but I genuinely do not remember it. So yes, if you like what you see, all of this pixel art, these statues, these cool little things we're building, you can donate to the Trevor Project. I know many of you here already have, so there's absolutely no judgment. But if you choose to donate, you can ask for a statue to be made. There we go. I'm not looking at chat for a moment, so behave yourself. I trust you, chat. Actually, is this... I need waxed copper.
Ah, uh, yes, I am working on building the actual exit from the Soul Commodore Shrine. Say, Mom, we still need to finish your Taj Mahal. There we go. And then all we need to do, bye mom. And I need some signs. I always forget where these things are. Oh, she's back. I was wondering where she went. Why she left. <laughs> That's fine. So, the reverse bubble elevator is soul sand. And then you said, fill it with water and then plant kelp to waterlog it, I think. Where is kelp? Not a sapling, not a crop. I don't see it. Kelp. Can't build it there. Definitely didn't cheat. No, of course not. I guess I have to do grass so I can plant the kelp. I don't I uh, don't fully remember. I know I need the water though. Oops. Can you go through fence? I did not know that. No. or sand, okay. There we go. 
go. So that waterlogged it, I think. Do I have to bone meal it all the way up? And then replace it with soul sand? I did something wrong. Did something wrong. Let me try it this way. Where's my kelp? It is right here. Can't help myself. That's still not working. Am I breaking the wrong thing? Like, should I break the kelp? Just keep adding kelp? but the water's not touching the soul sand. No. And I can't place it on the soul sand. Ha, huh. this is a pickle. I am very not talented at bubble elevators. As it turns out. We gotta figure this out, chat. Because I want it to shoot you up here. That's what I want. I got this one to work without using kelp, but I had to place each water block specifically. You're in trouble? Oh no. What did you do? You have five more statues to build. Which statues? I knew you had the bard, and I knew about the Wario. Oh, I wish Sekhmet were here. Oh, Vulpix instead of bard. Okay, that is fine. Huh. Huh. Segment the water elevator expert. Because I can't get it to work. Kate donated twice to get Segment's knife cat and a potato. I remember the potato now. What am I doing wrong? Oh, uh, an espion. This is soul sand, yes. Is that correct?
I thought it was soul sand, not soul soil. I am struggling. Your weekend stream is just going to be working on pride craft incentives. Yes, soul sand. Okay, it is. If I remember right, it's something weird like uh, the water can't be moving. It has to be stationary, which I thought was what the kelp was for. Are you not putting a monk at the end? There will be something up here. Okay, so actually it got it stationary up to here. No, stop it. So it's not working because it's not stationary the whole way, I think. not working. Oh, did I want to do a test run for the fireworks? Certainly. I just wish I could get this working, but that's okay. Let me try this one more time. sure what it's mad about we're gonna test run the fireworks so it's start and then on yes or no it's on and then start If you wanted to do the honors, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna do a fireworks show here, Mom, if you'd like to come watch. And you said it was on and then start, and then stop will make it stop after its current loop. First turn it on, then press start. On and start. Watch it go! Ooh, it matches the beacons! See, it's moving faster than I am, but that's okay. I can keep up. Woo! This is really neat! Thank you for working on this, Dennis.
Race against the fireworks. And now I'm going to stop it and it will go around for one more lap. Yeah, I think the amount is great. It's a good amount and it's spread out enough to be an actual show. So pretty. And now they've stopped. It works. We just finished up the fireworks for now, mom. I can turn it back on though. Oh, you're gonna help me with my bubble elevator. I don't know why it's broken. That is gonna make for a great finale. Oh, you did get to see them. Goody. So yes, I'm down here. I know soul sand is what you need to shoot you up. I just don't know why it doesn't wanna work. Maybe I try doing it without the fence block. I was hoping that that wasn't causing an issue because I like the way it looks. But it just doesn't want to work. Have a good night, the queer note. Thank you so much for dropping by. Mom, to the rescue! To the rescue! It's a puzzler. now I'm happy it works but what did you do tell me your secrets She's not gonna tell me the secret, guys. Oh, it hurts. She won't tell me.
There. There is the monk at the end of the shrine. Foosh. And up here you get your elytra for free. Probably just a chest with them, maybe? That's the best I can think of anyway. I see. It must be very particular about how it is opened. There. See, the idea is that you shoot up to the top of this tower and then you grab an elytra, which is like Link's sailcloth. And... You zoom around! Not me landing on the eggplant. I love this little Breath of the Wild ode that we did. Hi, hi, Sari. I still have the inside of your Deden to work on, but it's gonna be a little clubhouse. Club Mouse. We have been having so much fun tonight. Let me show you what we did. This is the shrine of Sol Ka Mador. Foosh. Ow. Ignore the bed down here and the cat that followed me down here. I'm in survival, so I cannot be accused of cheating. Oh, I don't think I changed this jump. The cat's just like, yep, I'm here. Dang it. We got to get it all in one go now. my head. It is very good to see you, Sari. I did it again. I keep bonking my head on that lamp. And it shouldn't be in the way. I just keep not being careful, I guess. Okay. A true gauntlet. This jump is hard. I was not kidding. It's a hard jump. That is the one jump I might change so far.
Welcome back, ya yeah, boomerang. If it's hard for you, us noobs will never make it. Uh, I mean, maybe. Ah, I made it and then I fell. We in there. We're on top of the ladder. We're climbing the walls like you do in Breath of the Wild. It's really just kind of like a love letter to Breath of the Wild, honestly. Now, this jump also is poopy. Yup. That's, that's, so there's two hard jumps, but they're spaced pretty far away from each other. And there are some areas where you can fall and like recover. Like if I had been able to like turn around and grab that, who knows? Oh, oops. I can't keep breaking my ankles here. Chat, please help me. No, my ankles. Oh my gosh, I'm in a feedback loop. Grant me your power, chat. All right. Okay. Okay. We're back. Ow. It hurts. I think you might have to sprint there. I know. Oh, come on. You can tell I'm getting impatient. So I'm like trying to speed run the first part of it again to get back to where I was. See, that's how parkour gets you. Yes, I thank Data Mouse for the Hall of Fame name. See, when we're going, we're going. I still had my elytra on. I was kind of like gliding there. We in there. Just gotta take the ladder section a little carefully. Ow, my heart. It's taken me. <laughs> Don't you judge me.
Actually, maybe the bed will stay here in the shrine to give people a respawn space. I'm able to get back here pretty reliably. So I think that's, to me, a sign of it not being too hard. I mean, I died twice. This jump is the poo-poo jump. The cat wasn't judging, it was laughing. That's worse. That's worse. And that is judgy. Not the cat laughing at me. How do you make text glowy? A glowing ink sack. <laughs> See, I knew I made one really stinky jump. Well, that never happened before. We could also give uh, people food. I mean, like, if you were playing real Breath of the Wild, Link would be just, like, throwing back apples. Or, like, roasted fish. Whew. We're back. We're back to this stinky jump. Again, I keep you have I think you have to sprint to make that. I'm going to get there naturally one more time and then I'm going to start switching game modes uh to get back there quicker cuz I like if that is the only bad jump in the parkour then I will find a way to make it slightly less poo-poo. Some of the other jumps just need to be learned. Like this one, you just, you have to stand all the way back here and you have to jump off of the corner and then you're fine. Did say I was gonna get back here and then start trying. All right. Okay, you do not have to sprint. I think sprinting is what was messing me up, actually. So, yeah, it's stuff like that. You teach yourself, oh, no, just don't sprint. I can make that jump. That's such a troll. Oh no. I think I started grabbing the vines prematurely and I didn't actually have the vines up when I first. Yeah, my goodness. Okay, so I'm also sprinting there and you don't need to be. Dun da da da! Or, sorry. <laughs> Gotta do the right one. And then. Foosh. You exit the tower. Whee! 
Hi, Mom. You exit the tower and you end up in the Hall of Fame and then you immediately go into creative mode because there's creepers. Whew. There were creepers outside. Yes, look at this. We've got data mouse. We need Windu. I was thinking yellow for Windu. Uh, red. Pretty, please. We also have a Goger donation. And an Echo Amaretto. Who I think is magenta. Um, let me pull up the Tiltify. It's the quickest way. Don't judge me. I'm so proud of all of us guys. I really am. I will get sappy about it. We need a tall samurai. Oh, we need Az. Lady is streaming right now. I'm going to say probably purple. I don't know if she's... She is on the server. I'm a, I'm a goofball. <laughs> I called it. So I think that's everyone from my campaign in the Hall of Fame. Do we have Kristen Suds? Do we have Zelda? I think I saw Kristen. Yes, I see Kristen. We just need Zelda. because I'm pretty sure Kate is already good. Did we get Chibi? Smeeby Chores, if you are here. We are putting you in the Hall of Fame. Oops, that's the wrong one. There's a creeper walking through here like he owns the place. How rude. Make sure you're not in survival mode. Or survive very carefully, as it turns out. All right. Uh, aside from Smeedy Chores, I think that's everyone. Can it be light blue? Absolutely it can. Yes, security detail. Yes, yeah, so these names 
I've put them all where I think the color matches best, and now we can go through. Yay! You're welcome. Thank you again for your support. I'm so happy to have all of these names to put in. And really, the Queer Note did such a good job. Make sure you thank them for all their hard work, because this is amazing. If you touch a single piece of art, I'll blow this whole building up. Don't test me, I'll do it! Did we put Lady of Chaos? We did. There's my mom. Oh, this does look really lovely. We have such a nice colorful area here. So many arts. An entire parkour challenge? That is doable, by the way. Requires less sprinting than you think. A guardian? At my pride parade? It's more likely than you think. And yes, we do still have some statues that we will continue to work on. Yes, the Breath of the Wild parkour is done. And it even comes with a box of... Uh, Elytra at the top as a reward. And I do recommend sleeping in the bed for what it's worth. There. Now there's a nice, fancy looking spawn point set. Right here. Fancy! Oh, it's dark over here. You have it here. Live footage of Yeah Boomerang attempting parkour. Well, you see, I didn't hear her yell parkour when she made that jump. There you go. Aw. So from what I can tell, there's two difficult jumps. Big fan of the cryonis wall. Yeah, that was the idea. Was to uh, say, we're trying to make this a love letter to Breath of the Wild and include little nods to everything that we can see or that we can put into a parkour challenge that the uh, game uses <laughs> the ice physics i am no longer a fan of the crown as wall oh no it doesn't help that one of the blocks is a blue ice block so you're going kind of down from here the deep slate tiles are going to be the best uh indicator of where to go if you don't see it
Maybe I should make them a different color though so they don't blend into the wall. Like that wasn't the intention. <laughs> Will there be a map download at some point? You want to try out the parkour? There might be. I've been in talks with the server owner and because this map came out before caves and cliffs did, uh, there's a lot of the world that's not generating right in new areas. So there were talks about starting a new map sometime this summer, but of course not deleting the old map. So he might be able to uh, get like a zip made up. All right. You go back to the ice now. This is poo poo jump number one. You did it. Now you're just climbing on the ladders. Yeah, see, I didn't know you could like stand on top of the ladders. Oh no! Rest in peace. Rest in pieces, boomerang. Frowny face. It was a very solid first attempt. Like once you got to that new area, you did very good. Oh no, you're breaking your ankles. Don't do that. Oh yeah, the cooked food is here. <laughs> you broke my ankles on your parkour. Only fair that we do it in return. There, there is some bread in a shulker box. See, you kind of like saved it a little bit. Well, you did. Gotta do it all in one go. You must prove yourself. Oh, you didn't realize you'd saved it. That's fair. Oops. No, I'm not trying to make that jump worse. I'm just trying to add some light. Parkour! See, that's why when the queer note mentioned maybe using pistons to push the ice blocks in and out, I was like, well, I mean, that could work but I'd probably want to make the jumps way easier if the blocks were moving. Cause like, I don't consider this to be very hard as far as parkour goes, but there's some challenge to it. Oops. Definitely some challenge. I am going to head back to the retirement home island. Showcase my house because that's even still actually that might be done now. Enjoy the parkour. Definitely seen harder doesn't make it trivial. Yeah, like I've seen harder parkour and I will say some of the jumps in uh, Boom's parkour on her raft were slightly challenging, like put all together. So this is our retirement home island. 
we have a nice little path here. This is Shay's house that they made with the queer note. Very fancy. This is Sekhmet's house that she made underwater. There are rainbow sheep inside. This is Island Grandpa's house that they made tonight. It's a really good start. The original plan was to hollow out this uh, like almost pine cone looking hill and build a house inside of it. And that's what the, that's what they did. I think the concrete can probably come down now because this was just a placeholder to like save the spot. You're sure you'll scream if and when you do it. I believe in you. I think you can do it. Um, that being said, I did not successfully do it all in one go tonight because I just wanted to show it off so I will probably try it a little bit more and decide if any of the jumps need tweaked. This is Nat's house. Look at how beautiful this house is. She had even admitted she's like, I am a Sims player. I am not a Minecrafter. So she uh, didn't 100% know what she was getting into, but this is very good. This is a very good little house. There's zombie villagers that just moved in. This is my mom's house, if she's still here. Everyone's been loving it. And then, this is my house. Nat called it a McMansion. I mean, it's a big house. What do you think? Is this a mansion? I mean, technically it's a one bedroom. It's a one bedroom, one bath. It's just big. Someone could grief this parkour with the trap door platforms. What do you mean? I mean, like if you put them up, you can reach them to flip them back down. What is a bee doing here? My little buddy, you are lost. You are very lost. Oh, like put up the trap door as you're trying to jump to it. Yeah, I suppose if there's multiple people doing the parkour simultaneously, then yes, you could troll someone else pretty bad. So yeah, I made this little outdoor garden balcony. There's some chairs, there's a potted plant, nice little copper dining room set. Slightly weathered since it's been outside and a little rooftop garden. Oh, Sekhmet would absolutely do that to you. Here's Tugboat and here's Inky. Here's my kitties. Meow. They're such good boys. Here, oh yes, so I'm just about finished in here. I just was gonna add a, like a dining room table. This is my kitchen slash dining room. I have a nice little hood and a stove. I've got some eggs out, cooking up some rabbit. Have a little pantry here. Nice little kitchen island. I went all out. It's funny, my friend who I've been playing Minecraft with for like 11 years at this point, I sent him screenshots of this. He's also the server owner. And he said that it looked amazing. And then he also kind of said, this doesn't look like what you normally build. And I would agree, this is the most modern I've gone in a long time. Because usually I will go small and I will go very square. And I kind of wanted to break all of my own rules to build this. 
this is our cool basement. It's got a lovely view of our entire island. Nice TV, a nice couch with some throw pillows, a little bar for some drink mixing, and a little restroom. I think it's neat. So yes, I mean, as big as this house is, it doesn't have that many rooms. I see a lady of chaos. Probably sowing chaos, as one does. So yes, all I really need to do then is build a nice little dining room table. So I don't think we had, oh, she's stealing my bees away. All of the bees want her. Fish want me, women fear me, but it's bees. Oh, you returned from dinner and movie night. Would you like to see what we made for Seoul? I was showing off the retirement home island here where we are retired in the lap of luxury. But I think Seoul is really going to be a fan of this. I'll probably either clip footage of myself trying to do the challenge or maybe just a fly through because I don't know how long it's going to take me. So here is the shrine of Seoul Ka Mador. Boomerang is still at it. And I need to eat, or I am gonna beef it. You're doing great. So we have a nice little nod to Cryonis here. With a water wall with ice jutting out of it. Kidney! What's good, Kidney? Let me get a shout out. Oh, you have seen nothing yet, my friend. I hope you're doing well. We made this entire shrine for Sol Commodore because he donated to our charity incentive, not my personal charity. So I'll start over here. We built a guardian from Breath of the Wild. So he's just kind of sitting here. Uh, if I were smart enough to know how to... Let me try something real quick, actually. Am I smart enough? Only time will tell. Oh, that's freaky. So I can make it make noise. These are some of the new blocks that they added in. I'm going to try something, question mark. Yes. Aw. Actually, it's not yelling at me. There it is. So I just, I wanted it to be able to make noise and yell at you when you get too close to it. How was my day? Work was kind of, but I'm having a much better time now that we're here in Minecraft showing you everything we've done at our Pridecraft site. 
I made this deden for Sari because she donated to charity. So now she gets a little statue. And th there's going to be a clubhouse inside. I haven't built that yet. This is the shrine of Sol Ka Mador. L, I will get back inside of it then. And there's a tower right behind it. They're connected. Would you like to see how? Doesn't matter because we're going anyway. This is the shrine of Sol Commodore. We got some cryonis here on the walls. We got some jumping puzzles. We got some climbing. You know, the things you do in Breath of the Wild. We got some crystals. And then you finish up your challenge. And there's a monk here waiting for you. Telling you here's your prize. And then you get launched up to the very top of the tower. And you can take your elytra And you can fly! Whee! Check it out! We have so many great pride floats here. We got all the Pokemon. We got Shrek. I need to make a Wario for based Windu. Somebody asked for a Fall Guys bean, didn't they? Am I forgetting? Am I remembering that wrong, Boomerang? I was planning as well on doing a uh, Celeste Strawberry pixel art and then doing a parkour to get up to the strawberry. You wonder if Soul has Minecraft? You want to see him try the parkour? I can ask. Um, I'd have to figure out how to zip up this world or this part of the world, given that this is a bedrock map. I would know how to do it in Java. The strawberry parkour might be a lot of ice and snow because it would match Celeste Mountain pretty well. But yeah, that's one of the other like bonus things I wanted to do. I would like to keep working on the pixel art first, though. <laughs> Good, great, excellent. Here is Yeah Boomerang's float. And a mini parkour challenge here as well. This is Lady of Chaos's float. I love the witchy aesthetic. Are the ladders really tripping you up that much? I was actually shocked that you can stand on top of them. This is Sekhmet's throne and float. There's a little bit of fire involved. This is Island Grandpa's float. Yes, you can. Island Grandpa has a nice little uh, hammock here to take a nap. This is Toasty Baguette's float. Toasty is actually live right now and they're in the middle of an affiliate push. I don't know how much longer they're live for. But we might be heading over there. I haven't looked and seen who is available tonight. This is Natagen's float. It's very lovely. She is a first time Minecraft player. So this was all brand new. And I think she did great. I love it. This is my float. It has a lot of plants. Where'd my bees go? I had a lot of bees. Rest in peace, Boomerang. You will be missed. We have a mini float here that I believe the Queer Note decorated. I'm gonna say it was the queer note 
They were asking if the mini floats had been decorated yet, and this looks like they're doing. We have Love Litchie's float. It's very cute. There's lots of pixel art, lots of pink flowers. It's lovely. I really enjoy it. And then we have Shay's float. Look at this masterpiece. It's an amusement park. There's a roller coaster. There's a giant toad. What's Love Litchie? I wish I had the like question mark Animal Crossing emote because my brain is not working. Oh, okay. I just got confused. Is that your Vulpix? This was actually a request from Sekhmet, but look at this Vulpix. That's Kidney's favorite Pokemon. I made this. Yeah, I actually thought you were trying to say something, something itchy, boomerang. And then of course we have the Hall of Fame, where if you donated, you get your name up here on the wall in a nice pretty color. Immortalized. And one last little tour of Retirement Home Island. I can show off Peach's castle another time. You can still donate and get rewards. We are continuing our charity drive through July 1st because that's when we're doing the finale. Everyone will be on playing a mini game together. Oops. So here are all of our lovely retirement homes. I still wanted to make a um, a rec center over on that island. I have not had the time yet, but we have been building, we have been busy and I love it. Boomerang is still trying to clear the Soul Commodore shrine and I applaud her for it. Worth noting that I did not make an attempt to get it all the way through. I got all of the jumps individually. So I know it is doable. It's just a gauntlet, you know? But that's going to do it for me tonight. It's been lovely having all of you here with me and it's been lovely seeing so many people on the server. It's such a good time. I'm pretty sure my mom likes seeing extra people on as well. Thank you for being here, Elle. I appreciate it. It's nice to hear that, especially after a kind of crappy day to uh, be able to get some support from the community. Tomorrow should be okay, and then after Friday, I'm going on a little vacation. So th I'm looking forward to that for sure. Thank you for the head pats. One second. We have Lady of Chaos who is building in Minecraft that we could raid. We also do have Toasty Baguette, who is, I think, five followers away. I think I'm gonna keep the Minecraft vibes going for tonight, but make sure you give Toasty Baguette a follow. Also, I'm sorry if I missed anyone today with the shout outs. We have so many wonderful streamers with us in chat. We have Chibi S'mores, Lyot, Shay, Kidney Gamer, 
honestly, I have trouble picking sometimes. You guys are all so great. But let's get the raid going. Here's the raid message. I am changing the raid message. I have to make some new emotes. But I really appreciate you guys all for coming out tonight, for helping to make things feel just a little less crummy. Also, Boomerang, I'm sorry. Your name has been floating off of the first overlay for the entire stream, and I just now saw it. Oops. You see nothing. Nothing! But that being said, I think tomorrow I need to focus on packing. You passed the ladders, congratulations. I think tomorrow I need to focus on packing for the upcoming trip because we're leaving Friday right after work. So I don't think I'm going to have time for a Breath of the Wild stream tomorrow. Thank you for understanding. I do want to get back into the game you immediately fell! Oh no. F in chat for boom. But take care, everyone. Keep going and growing. I will see you guys when I see you guys, probably after the trip. Bye, everyone.